people know when they look up uh, at the sky they see the falling shooting stars right and so because of that they also realize that there are like sometimes there are meteorites that are falling down on the ground and so people are familiar with stony meteorites and carbonaceous meteorites they actually develop all kind of a classification for them and that has to do with the asteroid belt because we have a lot of uh, bodies uh, or objects between the Jupiter and Mars and so a lot of uh, those bodies are kind of diverted because of the gravity field of Jupiter and they are kind of sling around the Jupiter and just randomly shoot uh, into the solar system and so we get hit a few times and those are the asteroids like the meteor impact in Arizona and so on. But uh, there is also different type of bodies that uh, I think I wrote paper about the comets in 19 something about the aging of the comets and so there is, there is this solar system and beyond at the edge of the solar system we have this uh, region where you have a lot of ices and those are where the comets are born. Uh, and so some of these ices can be as big as like uh, hundreds of kilometers. We don't know if you, because this is the region where there's a very little bit of the light. And so we cannot really see anything what reflects uh, what is there. But density of this object would not be one, would be like 0.01 or even less. Which means that travels with the speed, which is uh, could be like a 50 kilometer per second, and then it sees the Earth's atmosphere. For the Earth's atmosphere, which is about one thousandth of the density of the water, it's impenetrable. And so as a result of this, it will decelerate in the Earth's atmosphere because of this high porosity. And this will cause all this kinetic energy transfer into the heat and basically explosion, or we call it airburst.